People want to expect companies to develop the relationships between themselves and the brand. This is customer relationships. It's about meeting expectations. The truth is customers have always had a relationship with brands, but modern analytics are now allowing organizations to personalize and manage those relationships. One common archaic view is to see customers as resources to be harvested for the upsell or cross-sell opportunity. Customers want interaction with their brand relationships, not be seen as single dimension demographic data. Today, research on brand relationships and analysis have revealed how to improve relational intelligence. But why are relationships important? Why do customers even care about having interactions with their brand relationships? Customers want to feel that companies are interested in developing a relationship with them by accepting their perspectives and attempt to satisfy customer demands. This can come in various forms and a critical first step toward improving relational intelligence is recognizing that people have different kinds of relationships with brands, such as listening and implementing a customer suggestion in its operations. Failing to capitalize these opportunities diminishes relational intelligence. There are both positive and negative relationships, maybe buddies, close siblings, or conversely, ex-friends and enemies. Some have a mix of both. Depending on the brand and the customer, the intensity and bargaining positions vary. Some managers will have less comfort with developing those close relationships with their customers. Specifically, some managers who struggle with giving in to dominant customer positions do not understand that the whole point of the relationship is to fulfill their need to be listened to and treated with respect. To categorize your customers by relationship type, a company will need to gather information that reveals their feelings and expectations about the brand. In short, develop a relational radar to pick up their signals. One example is to use a survey or a series of interviews on customers. Another way is to increase customer relationship management systems. This means doing a better at collecting, analyzing data to decipher what customers want with the brand. The key is to start listening and capturing the data. Web crawling and data mining technologies can help pick up relational signals. Stronger committed bonds tend to be more durable. It builds market share and their predictability makes them easier to manage. However, they can be less profitable. Conversely, Fleets allow higher price premiums, but their fleeting nature produces revenue peaks and troughs, and trying to meet expectations for excitement can be expensive. The rules vary based on the type of relationship between the brand and the customer. It is based on the customer expectations. If expectations are met, then the brand will be a focal point in the customer's life. If the expectations are not met, then it will be interpreted as a violation of the rules and the relationship will be undermined. One strategy available to companies in building a stronger brand customer relationship is to bolster desired relationships shown by customers. This is done by reciprocating in the relationship. Consequently, this drives profitability, market share, and earning stability. Another strategy available to companies is to shift customers toward the desired relationships. It is critical to see customer relationships as long-term assets. Don't over rely on IT departments or outside software consultants to create campaigns solely on algorithms. Rather, reorient the marketing function around relationships, use relationship-oriented workers, and expand marketing's purview. This may require additional training. Relational intelligence must pervade every aspect of the company that touches customers or affects interactions with them, not just marketing-related functions. A primary example is customer service. Cross-training in an interdisciplinary approach is key and marketing needs to be empowered to share its knowledge of customers with all other customer touching aspects of the business, such as public relations, sales, legal, and even finance. With technology available to extract data to reflect desires by customers, it is easier than ever for companies to focus on developing true customer relationships. Above all else, the emphasis should be on relational intelligence. Thank you.